Every month, we're going to do a little AI update. And today, we are going to do a little live demo. We love a live demo. Okay, so this conversation simulator tool is available for all people's school students. This is also a new bonus. It is beta. It is work in progress, but it is so good. Like I have been using it and it is it is shockingly good. Like it coaches better than I could ever coach in conversation and it's immediate feedback. So as you are learning all the conversation skills throughout people's school, I want you to go to this conversation simulator and try to activate them. So now finally we're in the age of learning where I can teach you something and then you can immediately practice it in a safe place. Before I would say, you know, go practice it with a friend or go practice it with your neighbor. No, now I want you to practice it with this AI tool. It's going to give you feedback. It's a safe place to practice and you can immediately do it. Yeah. So probably the most common set of questions we get every office hours, every workshop is around individual situations, uh, different kinds of conversations that need to be had. And and like you said, it's kind of difficult to offer advice and then you have to go get it right the first time. And that can be really challenging, right? So the idea behind this tool is to allow you to set the stage, give it as much specific uh, specifics around your situation as possible, and then role play the conversation and see how it goes and see if you do it And remember, it's trained in our principles. Yeah. So it's going to know what we teach in people's school. It's going to know what I teach in Captivate and Cues. So it's going to give you very accurate feedback on how to immediately make it better. We'll show you. You can only, you can only really see it in action. So let's go. So we, we, this is actually inspired from a question we're going to talk about a little bit later. This was your question. So Jeremy asked, I need to have a difficult conversation with an employee or actually your question was a little more general. You said, how do I have difficult conversations with employees, especially about performance? I also need to apply accountability in a positive way. Okay. Yeah. This is the perfect place. For, I'm, I could give you my advice, but it's way better to practice this with all of our tools. And here's how it works. Yeah. So that's the initial prompt. It is programmed to then ask you some more questions that might influence the conversation because conversation between two people are so inherently context aware. It matters if you're having this in an office, uh, on an airplane, on a coffee shop, it matters to as to the location. So it asks you where it is, who are you having conversation with? Who's the uh, opponent in your conversation, if you will? No, partner, 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 not opponent. partner. Oh man, <laughs> see that framing right there? Partner, um, conversational partner. And then it definitely like, what is the challenge in this conversation? Uh, is it to have a, a positive outcome? Is it that they don't really want to admit uh, that they've done yeah. something wrong? Yeah. Uh, you know, you can whatever the this this always comes up in the questions that we get in off yeah. in, in workshops as well is like there tends to be a difficulty with the conversation, and that's why it's a difficult conversation. And right? you can ask the conversation simulator to be difficult right? Like make them be difficult. You Mm -hmm. can say this, this employee is very defensive. They're very cold and they don't open up, right? Like you can literally ask it to be that feedback for you. So I provide this information. And then the first thing that it goes and does is make uh, an image, an avatar of the person that you're talking to. Uh, and you believe uh, that it actually makes a person, which is just nuts. Yeah. Anyway, and it yeah. knows the setting that you're going to be in. I told it was in a conference room at work. You can see that's the background. So the point of this is just to give you something that you can picture in your head as you're coming up with the questions or responses to this person. So you really see them more as a person instead of just some wall, some text wall on your screen. It's um, also very cool. And yeah. it's also very cool. Yeah. I guess. <laughs> uh, so then we say, okay, then it'll ask you if you want to start, if you want the other person to start, so, I start here. So, so you just, so it makes sense is background is first, like giving the AI tool, all the background. So it can be a really accurate simulation for you. And then it will ask you, or you can say, I want to begin. So it's background information, which is also secretly, this is a way for you to plan your conversational intentions, right? We're talking about purposeful, not perfect. That's the whole goal of people's school. So actually going through this just is a secret way to get you to be more purposeful with your conversational intent. Okay. So here you go. Yep. So we start the conversation. I open with my first line here, and then you can see the conversation simulator is role-playing as Frank and this person I named him. Uh, and I also wanted to make sure it was important to name both characters. So again, just treat them like mm-hmm. real people as make it real as, as real as possible instead of computers. Uh, and then you can see, we're going to get the feedback here mm-hmm. from the, uh, bot. It knows what our objective is in this conversation. It's going to give me feedback at every point of the way, every part of the conversation. Uh, and then it will give the next line as well. So, so I both, write my response. It's both simulation and feedback. Yep. Right. So that, that's, what's cool about this is it's going to tell you, for example, I did one and I'll try to do it live in a second. So you can see it live. I did one where it didn't like my opening line. It gave me a suggestion. It was like, you know, that wasn't yeah. such a great opening line. You should try this instead. So you're getting feedback as well as actual conversation simulation. Yep. And so it, this can repeat as often or as long as you want to go on in this conversation. Uh, I'm not going to read the text to you here, but you can see what's happening. Uh, I it's responding to me. It's giving advice and feedback on my approach. And then I proceed and I respond just with what I would want to say in a real conversation. Mm -hmm. 
what's super powerful about this, I think, is that when you take this to the voice mode of ChatGPT, if you have access to that, you can then actually have the conversation and it will actually talk back to you and you'll be able to have a dialogue in near real time. What? Like, I just want to like pause for a second. Like that's freaking insane, right? Like that, that is insane. So if you have voice mode, so we don't, we can't offer it yet, but we will, yeah. is you can turn on voice and actually have a real time conversation with this AI tool mm -hmm. to actually practice it. So you're not just typing. Typing is actually very helpful. You get the feedback, but you could technically do this with voice as well. So uh, you can see just here, you know, I kind of took it to a positive resolution. I can continue go. Yeah, if you want to keep going, feel free. Okay, I'm making this up. Let's, I would now like we're doing it really live. Which I would scary. like to have a conversation <laughs> with my aunt about. Oh no, we got to start a new chat. Oh, sorry. sorry. So. I'll show how we do that. So here's how we do a new chat. So if you're in the bot, you just hit new here, and it'll start a new conversation. Okay. So you can construct this from scratch. It'll also oh, it has practice ones here. If you're not sure what to do, it will just like give you practice ones. If you are trying to activate your people skills please come over to the conversation simulator and use this. It's a great way to implement. So let's try. So let's say, um, I want to have a conversation with my aunt about taking better care of her health. Ooh, hard. <laughs> that is a rough conversation. Okay, so here we go. So it wants to know a couple things to make it more accurate. So I'm gonna give a little bit more information. I'm actually not going to give a month, a bunch, but she is in her seventies and very kind, but ignoring her health. Let's just see what happens. <clears throat> oh, I said 80. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Oh yeah. This is in her kitchen over breakfast. Okay. There we go. Let's see if it will start with me. Oh, it's creating an image of my aunt. Let's see how that goes. <laughs> this is not a real person, by the way. This is, I don't really have an aunt who needs to have this conversation. And by the way, right now, what I should be thinking about, do I have any other goals or anything else I want to share? Oh, look at my aunt. Lovely. Okay. Hello, Aunt Mary. Okay. Are we ready to begin? Everyone ready to begin? Yes. Okay. Good morning, Aunt <laughs> okay so it's writing her response okay and it's also going to do next steps look it suggests this can be done gently showing your concern and care it's important to be tactful and considerate now let me be not tactful okay i'm gonna do a terrible <laughs> job ready you need to take better care of your health exclamation point see I, that was not good i should you should not do that <laughs> okay so look it tells me not good vanessa your direct approach may have caught Aunt Mary off guard. It's important to ease into sensitive topics. Perhaps try a softer approach. Okay. I love you and want you to know your, uh, my, what do you call it? My, my kids in their high school years. Okay, let's try that one. Right, so I can now play with this back and forth. You can see that it's going to give me contacts, it's going to be suggestions. It could always give you ideas. You could always ask it for ideas. It's going to now suggest ways that I could ask her to stay healthy and active. Super helpful. Is that helpful? Is that kind of interesting? Yeah. You have this available to you whenever you need it. If you go into your course library, it's in the premium features area of your course library as well. And you can get access to it there. It's just embedded within the course and it won't do the image. Unfortunately, we can't do the image generation just yet. Not yet. Uh, in our own courses, but yeah. it will be there hopefully soon. And voice coming soon. Do you want even more tips on communicating with confidence? One of the fastest ways to achieve more success and more respect is to level up your people skills. If you want to master communication and increase your charisma, check out People School. This program comes with 12 in-depth video modules designed to radically change your interactions, communication, and confidence. You'll start applying each principle to your life immediately. I'll share my social blueprints, conversation frameworks, and fascinating science-based insights. Everything you need to finally understand the unwritten rules of behavior. Ask questions and get personal answers and feedback after every module. Join me for our live monthly workshops where I deliver exclusive new teaching only to people school students. I'll show you exactly what to do to be more influential and impactful in every conversation and situation. Thousands of students have joined people school and achieved their goals. Here 
here's what just a few of our students shared about their experiences in people school. I got the promotion I was looking for. Thanks to the people school team for helping me along the way. What a ride. I have to say that I wish I was in people school way earlier in life. Wow. So much to absorb and can't wait to do it again and again. Since people school, I have never had such engaging and fun interviews in my life. Last Friday, I accepted a senior position with an increase in my total package of $100,000. People school has provided me with an exceptional amount of value and knowledge. I feel that there is so much to offer from this program. I'll be going through the lessons again. Thank you, Vanessa. One of my biggest regrets is I wish I had enrolled in people school years before now. The best part is people school never expires. We constantly add new bonus modules based on student requests. Want to raise or raise your rates? Check out our how to get a raise formula. Need new friends in a new city? Check out our how to find your people bonus. There are more than 35 hours of material waiting for you in people school. If you want to level up your career, your relationships, and your conversations, I would love for you to consider people school. I read every single one of your comments and can't wait to meet you in our next live workshop. Thanks so much for watching until the end. I'll see you in our next video.